In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, as we begin our celebration this morning, we once again first acknowledge our shortcomings, our infidelities, our sins, and we ask the Lord for pardon and strength by saying, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Malachi reminds us that the day of the Lord will be a day of justice when the wicked will be punished and the just rewarded. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Lo, the day is coming, blazing like an oven, when all the proud and all evildoers will be stubble, and the day that is coming will set them on fire, leaving them neither root nor branch, says the Lord of hosts. But for you who fear my name, there will arise the sun of justice with its healing rays. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. Before the Lord, for He comes, for He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Awaiting the Lord's coming does not excuse us from taking seriously our daily duties. This is what St. Paul exhorts us to do in the reading we are about to hear. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how one must imitate us. For we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, 
night and day we work so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. We hear that some are conducting themselves among you in a disorderly way, by not keeping busy, but minding the business of others. Such people we instruct and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to work quietly and to eat their own food. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, what will, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you are not deceived. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he. The time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified. For such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare for your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking, and all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair will be destroyed, and by your perseverance you will secure your lives. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa iyo po po muna sumandali. Mahirap ang buhay. Pakiulit nga po. Naalala ko na naman po yan sapagkat sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo parang sinasabi <laughs> ang hirap ng buhay. E pagdadaanan ka. I remember that because while still in the seminary, mantra yan na paulit-ulit na pinaparealize sa amin ng aming favorite professor si Father Enrico Gonzales mahirap ang buhay kaya mag-aral ng maayos at even when younger with my biological lolo pareho rin mahirap ang buhay kaya wag tatamad-tamad uh, nung bata I am very sure we don't appreciate this we take it for granted. We don't even listen. Uh, what's that? 
But as we grow older and become face to face with the realities of life, totoo nga, mahirap ang buhay. Mahirap kumita, mahirap maghanap buhay ng marangal, mahirap kapag ka mayroong pinagdadaan ng problema, mahirap kapag ka may mga pasanin sa buhay, mahirap ang buhay. Kaya nga, you don't hear those reminders from the young. Pag ka may narinig ka na bata, seven years old, at sasabihin sa iyo, you know, mami, mahirap ang buhay. <laughs> Anong sasabihin mo nun sa bata, nun sa anak mo o pamangkin mo, go ahead and just play because it will come in time and you will realize that. The older people will tell the young, mahirap ang buhay. You know, I realized that if I did not at least listen a little bit and follow the instruction na nakapaloob doon sa mahirap pang buhay, palagay ko hindi ako nag-survive sa seminaryo. Bakit? Kasi doon, kami-kami naglalaba. Kami na mamalengke, naguhugas, naglilinis. Gusto mo na maayos at hindi gusto na polo, matuto kang magplansa. Even then, we were told and we were instructed and trained, mahirap ang buhay. Kaya nga naman, kapag ka nabibigyan ng pagkakataong mag-aral, hindi dito sa Pilipinas, sa ibang bansa, na ikaw lahat, ikaw lahat. Aral ka na, sulat ka na, mamamalengke ka pa, magluluto ka pa, maglilinis ka pa. Kaya nga, yung instruction na mahirap ang buhay, we come to realize kapag ka face to face na tayo ng reality na totoo ngang mahirap ang buhay. You know, in the gospel that we read today, hindi lang mahirap ang buhay. We are all told to expect that we are going to go through suffering. We're going to go through difficulties. We're going to go through pain and challenges. We're going to go through all of these things. Kaya nga po, madalas makakarinig tayo ng mga quotable quotes. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. Narinig nyo na yan, ano? Sa mga kaibigan mo, kapag meron kang medyo pinagdadaanan sa buhay, may mabigat na dinadala, at yung kaibigan mo, ah, na nilapitan mo, wala na, na nakikinig sa'yo, sometimes would tell us, alam mo kapatid, no? tough times will not last, tough people do. O kaya naman yung isa pang madalas kong marinig, alam mo, ang buhay ay hindi 100 meter dash, hindi yan sprint. If life is a race, it is more like a marathon, endurance pahabaan, and those who persevere until the end will be victorious. You might not be number one, but you finish the race. Oh, diba? Nakakarinig tayo ng mga ganoon sa ating mga kaibigan. Ang maganda sa Ibanghelyo natin, hindi lang sa ating pinapaalala, sa ating pagbasa, yung brutal reality. Ika nga sa English, unvarnished. Ang Ibanghelyo natin ay hindi propaganda na pinapakita lang yung maganda. Hindi rin ito advertisement na kapag ka ginamit mo, puputi ka, gaganda ka, aayos ang buhay mo. Advertisement lang yan. Sabi nga ng mga marketer at advertiser, siguro mga nasa 20% lang ang totoo dyan sa sinasabi niyan. No, the gospel is unvarnished. Mahirap ang buhay. Anong reality niyan? O bakit kayo andi dito? Taas nga ng kamay na walang pinagdaanan man lang na kahirapan sa buhay. Maaring hindi pera. Maaring hindi relationship. Maaring hindi trabaho. Pero meron yan. Ilan man lang dito ang hindi man lang nagtanong sa atin, kailan ba matatapos ito, Panginoon? O kaya, kapag ka ang problema mo, pamilya o asawa, hanggang kailan ko kaya ito mapagpapasensya na mokong na ito? Hanggang kailan ko ba papasanin? Hanggang kailan ba kami dadaan dito sa madilim na bahagi ng buhay na ito? We have all asked that. Mahirap ang buhay. But the gospel did not end simply with stating the reality or the obvious na mahirap ang buhay. But the gospel went on at the end 
of what we have read in the gospel, if we hold firm, if we endure, if we persevere, if I am with you in your journey, then kahit gaano kahirap ang buhay, there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. Gagaan din yan. Yung mokong naasawa mo na nagbibigay sa'yo ng sama ng loob at sakit ng ulo, titinurin yan. Yung mga anak mo na lagi na lang hingi, makakagraduate din yan. Ikaw, palagi na lang marites, atitigil ka rin pagdating ng araw. Di ba may pag-asa? Ayun yung pagkakaiba ng Ibanghelyo. That's why a gospel is a good news because it doesn't only present to us the brutal reality of life. It presents to us a hope. May pag-asa. Mahirap ang buhay, yes. Kaya nga, andito kayo. Saan-saan kayo nang galing? Hmm. Anong oras kayo umalis sa mga pinanggalingan ninyo? Hmm. Ayan, nung baon-baon ninyo? Ah. Anong pinagdadasal ninyo? May mga nagpapasalamat, pero dahil may pinagdaanan ng kahirapan sa buhay, and at the end, babalik magpapasalamat. Anong iniluluhod nyo dyan? Anong isinisindi nyo ng kandila? Alam nga naman na bibili lang kayo ng mangga dito sa Manawag o kaya ng tupig. Hindi, di ba? Sinisindi at ipinagdadasa. Eh bakit? Hindi lang mahirap ang buhay. May pag-asa. And that's why you come here. That's why we gather. That's why you are still here. Sapagkat kung hindi nyo nakita yung, bu- yung pag-asa at puro lang kahilapan, kahirapan, wala kayo dito sa loob ng simbahan. Nasaan kayo? Nasa beer house. Para makalimot. Dito hindi. We are not, minsan po merong nakakita, nakaabito ko noon. Father, pwede ho bang makausap kayo? Sabi ko, sige. Bakit ka andito? Tanghaling tapat. Para ho makalimot sa dami ng pinagdadaanan ko. Sabi ko, iho, wala ka ata sa tamang lugar eh. Dapat nasa beer house ka sapagkat tawag nito dito sa loob ng simbahan hindi ka tinuturo ang makalimot tinuturuan kang humarap doon sa hirap na pinapasan mo at pinagdadaanan mo at even when you're going through that you are being taught na merong pag-asa kaya nga hindi nawawala ng tao dito sa loob ng simbahan may pag-asa lagi di ba? There is always hope. You always hope that the lady in front of you will continue to intercede for us. That the lady in front of us, our Lady of Manawag, who called you to come to this place, will not only remind you of the difficulties of life, but it will also remind us that there is hope for all of us. We endure, we persevere, and the grace is official. Alala ko na naman po ang sinabi ni Santa Teresa Avila. Ang sabi niya, ganda no? Solo Dios basta. Bastante. Sufficiente. So when you come here, I'm sure, may baon kayo. Pag alis ninyo, I am sure, may baon rin kayo. At ano yung pag-asa na Ano yung baon na yun? Pag-asa na nakuha ninyo na na-remind sa inyo ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Muli po, mahirap ang buhay? Mahirap. May pag-asa? May pag-asa. Kindly ask. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered death and, and was buried and rose, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we approach the conclusion of the liturgical year, let us present to the Lord our supplications for all those dear to us, and let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the Universal Church, our mother and teacher, may she be for all nations a sign of hope, unity and solidarity let us pray lord graciously hear us for the holy father our bishop and parish priests may they guide the people of god by being an inspiration to all with their holiness wisdom and courage let us pray lord graciously hear us for our civil and political leaders May they prepare for the day of reckoning by serving the people with honesty, dedication, and transparency. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the victims of terrorism in all parts of the world, may the Lord receive them in his peace and grant consolation and strength to their loved ones. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the members of our community, especially those who are going through hard times, may they find our solidarity, the help they need. Let us pray. We also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their health, for their welfare, for their safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Now we pause for a while and in silence you may now offer your personal intentions. Lord God, grant us a grace to be always ready to welcome you by fulfilling our duties with the right intention and dedication we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us a grace of being devoted to you 
and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed only, O Lord, the fount of holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our source of hope, 
the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blood of Christ, bring to Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And thank you very much sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. We would also like to extend our gratitude. Pasalamat din po sa lahat ng suporta na binibigay ninyo that allows us to continue our work here at the Minor Basilica. Konting report lang po yung uh, construction ng Abong ni Maria in Pangasinan. It's the House of Mary Outreach Center. Ay uh, tuloy-tuloy na po. Hopefully, matapos natin ngayong December at yung space po na yon, yung building po na yon ay primarily for medical clinic uh, and also it's, there will also be a space there for feeding program, Nutriskwela ni Maria and then also for the free legal assistance desk. So, thank you and then please continue to pray for us at pata, uh, patuloy din po kayong makakaasa ng aming panalangin magmula dito sa Minor Basilica at para sa lahat ng diboto ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. I bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. 
May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. So that in this life, journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Let's now... Let's now say the prayer of blessing po para sa lahat ng mga may sakit. Andi dito, nasa bahay, nasa hospital, your relatives and friends. We pause and we pray for them. And this is to be followed by the prayer of blessing po para sa inyong mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para sa inyong mga religious articles, let's bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.